hello watcher and subscribers this tutorial is very important for you because we are going to create one interesting game that game is nothing but maze game so we just play this that ball you have to need to move by using the keys and uh, it should not touch to the boundary so you have to move very carefully and once it touch to the boundary it will go back to the original position and it should also not touch to that second sprite also and if it touch again it will go to the original position and its target is without touching to that boundary it should take that reward that will be the winning position so it should not touch to the boundary it should not touch to the sprite and then it should reach here that is the game so if you are playing this game uh, you can set the timing with your friend uh, those uh, player will take a less time and touch to that reward that will be the winner so now here we will see what coding is required for completing this game because without code you cannot do anything that you already understood now here i just close this and going into the blank project i delete this sprite and here the main thing is actually what this background either you can create by your own or you can download also we will see both the option so any backdrop you can add suppose i am selecting this background then you go into this backdrop category and here you can change the thickness of that line it is already selected if it is not selected you have to select the line and then you can draw the lines here so like that you can also create but it is complicated and it will take more time and it will be not that much perfect also because actually my drawing is not perfect and uh, in this way also you can create the pattern means it depends on you so like that you can do it so but this way is very complicated and it will also not look proper so i will suggest you the second option so second option is that you have to search from internet you have to type maze game backdrop and you have to go into the image category then you will be getting many images so here i got you can select any one no issue suppose i am selecting this one then you have to save in your computer so here the option is there save image as <clears throat> you can give any name I have already downloaded but I show you how to download <clears throat> then after saving this image you have to minimize all and uh, I save this image in this folder <clears throat> I have given the name maze 2 so you have to set its size also so you have to open with paint for setting the size so this is the default size so you have to select the resize and here I am giving seven three times so this size is the ideal one according to me you can reduce also or increase also it's up to you okay and then file save then i close this so in this way you can set the size so now here i am going into my project and i am uploading the image so it is in desktop miss folder miss 2 so you see this is my backdrop or you can say background and it is the perfect one means that particular sprite will start from here so in this way you can take any maze background and in place of uh, making it is better if you download from the internet it will be attractive error free and it is good and your lots of coding time will save so once you have done this next step is you have to attach sprites that is very important so i am taking ball you can take any sprite but ball is the easiest one and then next step is you have to reduce its size so size i am taking suppose 40 40 is the ideal one you have to take size so that it will pass from the every gap easily so like that you have to set size so once we set the size of that uh, sprite next thing is that it should be able to move left right up and down so in the previous tutorial i have already taught you how you can move the sprite by using arrow key if you didn't see that you have to just refer so first 
here i will search out when space key is press so suppose here first i want lift uh, first i am selecting lift arrow key and then in the motion i want to move block sorry in place of move i will select i will refer change x that is easy you can select move also but for coding point of view this block is ideal one so as you know in mathematics you have learned x and y axis x axis means this uh, horizontal line you can say as this line is you can say x axis and this vertical you can say y axis so in x if you move your sprite in forward direction you have to use positive value like 10 okay if it is backward negative value same for y axis upside positive downside negative value so as you press left arrow key it should go by minus 10 okay so just i click here you see it is going in left side then after that i just repeat this block so i want duplicate so here now i change right arrow and right arrow means positive value so when i click here it is going into the right direction now again i create a duplicate block here and now i am selecting up arrow and in place of x i need y coordinate change y so if i click here it is going upside now duplicate block i am creating again and uh, here key should be downside down arrow key so the value will be minus 10 now i just check it out you see it is perfectly adjust and suppose you are moving this right okay then whenever some mistake should happen it should go here so actually when the flag will keep click then only our game should start so in the event category i would like to add the flag i just do it there downside in this way you can arrange the block when i click on this flag actually its starting position should start from here so i am going into the motion category and when i move this you see here the position is also changing so i want my this sprite should always start from here in this position only whenever i start the game so i just select here go to axis again i am arranging properly so now i start the game suppose now you see it is going properly if i start next time it will come here again suppose i am moving this sprite like that when i start game next time it will again start from here so here you learn how you can set the background and how you can set the key and how you can set the original position of the sprite so this is the first part actually in the first part what we have done we have set the sprite we have set background and we have set the key and starting position rest of the things we will do in the next tutorial don't forget to go through that tutorial thanks for watching thank you